I'm in my kitchen and I'm about to fry up some salmon. Show you my salmon. That's my salmon. Here's my onions. And I have some um some jalapeno peppers. And I've already um seasoned up my fish and I got some garlic. And here's my pot. And I've got my canola oil in there. And that's getting nice and hot. And um these are the seasonings that I used. I used some onion powder. I used some some garlic powder. Um, I used some cayenne pepper. And um, I didn't put any seasoned salt. I used um, this um, fresh ground pepper. I have this Martha Stewart thing here. You just like sort of do it like that. Okay, and that's my onion that I'm about to cut up, and my garlic. I'm going to cut that up and put that in the pot. Okay, I'll be back after I finish cutting up my onion. Okay, I'm back, and I've cut up my onions. Here are my onions. And I've made them into rings, and then the end pieces I just cut up. And um, here's my garlic clove. I'm going to slice up also. So, here's my pan. I'm going to start by putting in my onions. I'll put the garlic in because I don't want like the garlic to burn. So. My rings of onions. You want to put enough in here so this can cook. Might have to add a little bit more oil to actually fry the salmon. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to fry it. It's a light fry. It's gonna be real good. It's very tasty. Okay, I'll be back. My um camera is dying, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And my onions are cooking up. I've got fresh batteries. And my onions and jalapeno peppers are cooking up. And I've got my garlic sliced up. Here's the garlic sliced up. Sort of thin slices, as thin as I can slice it. But I'm not adding that right yet. And then also, I'm going to um, put some coriander. Ground coriander seed on this fish. That's for extra flavor. And you only need a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. This is just to give it a little extra flavor. I know people put lemon and lemon pepper and all that kind of stuff, but I kind of like it this way. Okay. And here's my onions. So now I can add in the garlic. Saute a little bit. So I don't want it burnt. This garlic cooks so quick, it has a tendency to burn. As soon as you put it in the pot, it browns up so quick. Now I don't want it burnt. keeping this thing 
because after I saute up these onions and peppers, I'm going to take them out and put the fish in. And then I'll put it back after the fish is halfway cooked. This is just my way of making my fish. I mean, I make fish other ways, but this is one of the ways that I make fish. I mean, sometimes I put cornmeal on fish. I mean, not salmon. I wouldn't do it on salmon, but like other types of fish like whiting and uh, stuff like that. I'll put cornmeal on them with the seasoning and fry them. But this particular fish, salmon, I just like to make it like this because it tastes so good this way. And you can just add what you want to it and it just makes a good meal. Put mashed potatoes, rice, anything you like. And a vegetable or salad, whatever you like to go with that. And that's all cooking up real nice. And then I just sort of keep moving it around so that the um, garlic doesn't burn too much. It sort of cooks more than you burn. Now these onions and peppers are just about almost done. see the pepper in the pot I'm gonna put a little bit more that's I roll that's just for extra spiciness and flavor and just the way it looks I like it okay. and now since I'm gonna be soon ready to put in my fish I'm gonna add some of this sea salt, a little sea salt because I didn't put any um, seasoning salt or anything on the fish so just adding a little um, sea salt and iodize always get iodized it's better for you okay so the onions they're almost done So I'm going to remove these onions out of this pot, put them aside, and then I'm going to put the fish in and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back now and I've taken out the onions and the peppers and the garlic and I've put them in this little container right here. And I'm just going to let them sit. And now I'm going to put my fish in. pieces of fish now are in. I'm going to let them sort of saute fry. Mess over here. Get oil. Clean it up real quick. It's a little bit, not that much. Okay. And it's sort of saute frying up because the fish was um, I don't know, it had a little bit of ice crystals on it. So it wasn't frozen or anything, but I had taken it out to thaw. And it was thawed, but just, you know, some few places on there had a few little ice crystals, so that's good because then I wanted sort of fry saute. So just all together fried. That would make it nice. 
Okay, so the fish is in the pot. I'm let it cook on this side. And then I'll turn it and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back now and I'm turning this fish now. Got the sort of saute fried. And I'm just turning it over. To get the other side cooked. I can turn this one. That's the last one to get turned over. And I may put it back on the other side to let it um, crisp up a little bit. But that looks just fine to me. So I like my fish sort of sauteed. My salmon at least. I'm done. I usually do. Let that, I had this on a very low fire, so it's just sort of fried sauteing. And I still got this here waiting. This is going to go on the top. When this um, top is all through, then I'm going to put that on the top and around in the pot. And then just um, let it cook a little longer just so the, um, the bottom can get a little crisped up a little bit. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to turn this fish back over because I'm not trying to overcook it so the bottom can crisp up just a little bit more. Take off all of that stuff. That's not needed. Let's turn it back over because that's, that's basically cooked. I'm just turning it back over so the bottom can crisp up and I can put the um, onions and peppers on the top of it. Okay. Okay. And I have this on a very, very low fire. If I had it on a higher fire, then it might get a little overcooked. I don't want it overcooked. So now I'm just going to put these. Um, onions and peppers on the top. like that. And it's more than enough onions. So every piece of fish can get a good amount of onions and peppers. This one got a whole bunch. <laughs> and also garlic. It also has the um, cooked garlic. And I didn't want to get overcooked and you can see I don't know if you can see it's kind of dark in here, but um, that garlic is definitely is not overcooked. It's still um, sort of whitish, sort of yellowish now since it's cooked, but that's just putting all of that on there. camera. Trying to keep my hand still and get everything. And use my hand to get the stuff out. Okay, here's another piece of garlic that's, that's going on the top. There. I just got out all these little pieces of garlic that was left. But anyway, that's kind of how it looks. Pull it up far away so you can see it. And that's salmon. 
and I just seasoned it up and I cut up an onion into ringlets and um, a jalapeno pepper and I sauteed the onions and the jalapeno peppers first because they take a little longer to cook then I sliced up my garlic and put that in there so it wouldn't get too brown too quick and sauteed that all took it out of the pot put it to the side and to okay I'm back again my um, camera had went out because the um, memory was full but anyway this is the finished fish it's all nice and done and it's got like all the um, onions and stuff on the top and the peppers and it's like ready basically to go you can serve it like this with whatever you like so if you'd like to try it I say go for it because it tastes really good this way you know it's just a change from the regular fried fish or baked fish or however you cook your fish I just like it like this because it has a lot of flavor the jalapenos and the onions and the garlic give it a lot of flavor and then I put a few spices on it and you can use your own spices whatever you have and whatever you like to put on there I just um, told you what I put on mine but anyway I'll put all the ingredients and everything down in the info box okay thanks for watching